Hey, welcome back to our stupid rags. Did it, Tim Corbin? I am Rick, and you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, 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 so Obviously, I, Halloween's not celebrated, not celebrated very much. in India. Yeah, uh, I'm sure there's some that do celebrate it, but um, I'm guessing it's not celebrated very much. But he also didn't. I don't think grew. Up, I think he grew up more in either Canada or the United States. Right. And absolutely, you know, my first inclination is Desi parents in Halloween. I'm thinking Desi parents in India. There's a lot of Desi parents that don't live in India. Also, what's Desi? I know it means Indian, but does it mean a specific place in India? That's like, a good question. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. Does it mean like a Delhi Indian? Does it mean, or does it just mean an Indian? Is it just an Indian? I Indian? thought it was synonymous. I thought it was synonymous for an Indian parent. That a Desi parent is an Indian parent, but it very much, it very well could be. No, because there's Desi boys. Yeah, not parent. No, I know. No, no, no. Desi. I thought Desi like signifies Indian. like a, a, a synonymous but i'm not i would never say that that's what it is well i've just thought that's what it is let us know because i don't know here we go you know growing up halloween was one of my favorite white people holidays to celebrate <laughs> well actually it was like the only holiday that i celebrated no christmas no easter no thanksgiving no valentine's day i mean i was a chick magnet but i wasn't a chick magnet in the traditional sense i mean you know when you put two magnets opposite polars together and they just just <laughs> you know, the idea of going to random people's houses and disturbing them every five seconds to get free candy was genius to me. I don't know the origin of this holiday and I really don't give a shit, alright? Free it's pagan. Free anything as a matter like everything of else. It is I, a pagan origin. It's in my genes to be in for this kind of stuff. Now, Halloween in a brown household was uh, a little bit different from what others may have been accustomed to. And I'm going to take you on this magical journey to experience some of the traumatic moments in my childhood <laughs> when it came to Halloween. So, uh, come on. Now, when it was October, I was extremely excited as a kid because I knew exactly what was around the corner. Yeah. My parents, unfortunately, didn't share the same enthusiasm. And I said, oh, he died again. Again this year. Every year. <laughs> I want a candy, I want a dip, I want a chocolate, I want a chip. But I'm not going to eat my candy. 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 And when it came to buying candy, they buried themselves in a mountain full of flyers to find out which stores had the cheapest candy for them to buy. And even when we did go out and buy candy, they would never buy the adequate amount that is equal to the amount of people that would be coming to our house that night. And you'll soon find out why. Okay, come, let's get it. this one box? Because we're gonna give a one candy, this guy, one candy, that guy, one candy, other guy, that's it. What if you run out? You put, you don't worry about that. You let me worry about that. You have a fun trick in drink. Alright? Okay. Alright. Now costumes I always used to get excited by because I used to have a million ideas of what I wanted to be that Halloween that would be super cool and make all of my friends like super jealous. But alas, these were fantasies that I played in my head. Mom, can I get this costume? Oh, put the in So that would be so that would be costume such a Exactly. That you'll wear once in your life. That is the word. So what did my mom do instead? Yeah, that's right, a shitty dollar store mask. Yeah. Oh yeah, 
<laughs> One year, my dad got me a witch mask, so everyone instantly assumed that I was a girl because which six year old boy in their right mind would wear a witch mask instead of a Power Rangers outfit? <laughs> On top of that, everyone already thought I was a girl because, you know, I had a, I had a tiny little man bun. On the top of my head, covered with a pamal, which has kind of double confirmed the stereotypes that they already held with me. So, also not very traumatic at all. And I know some of you girls, you probably had it way worse when it came to Halloween because we all knew what kind of costume that you would be getting that year. Oh, we can have a costume like that, Daddy. Wow, look at that, so pretty. Wow. Dad, that's a suit. No, 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 you are Indian princess. Reduce, reduce, reduce. Yeah. It's beautiful. And you know, sometimes our parents, being immigrant parents, they didn't have time to take us out to go trick-or-treating because they had night shifts to work and food to cook and but I felt sad about that. Mom, can you come trick-or-treating with us? I come to the morning again? My belly is okay? Trick or treat, trick or treat. I have a lot of food. 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 Sarah's mom, she's going to take them trick or treating too. Sarah's mom, she's going to take them trick or treating too. Sarah's mom, she's going to take them trick or treating too. So we had to go ourselves. You know, meanwhile, we got all these white dads giving them cell phones and beepers and pagers. All right, guys, I want you to be safe Halloween this trip around, okay? So if anything happens, here's a cell phone for you, here's a cell phone for you, and you get my beeper, okay? You're not old enough to get a cell phone yet. You're only three years old. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give you a ring and I want you back by 9 p.m. sharp. And every half hour you're late, I'm gonna be deducting one whole candy from your bag. Okay? Alright, you go have fun, little pickle dickle dick doppers. <laughs> when do we know it's time to come home? That's how white people are. Yeah. Go, you pickle dickle dick dopper. <laughs> at White Houses. They were so friendly giving out apples and shit. Look at you guys! <laughs> wow, aren't you the cutest little princess? Have yourselves a good one. Don't eat apples right, if they're handed out to you. Johnny. Your kids look great. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and then there was, there was our house. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, 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 all right, yeah, I want a candy, you want a candy, oh, nice costume, yeah, I want a candy, you want it. Actually, you're the other guy kid, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm not giving you candy, man, you all the time running on my lawn, playing with this game, messing on my flower that I want to give. Yeah, you know what, I, yeah, stop, go, I don't want to give the candy. Hey! What? Get off my lawn! What? Hey, don't walk on the head! Don't walk on the lawn! You just have boxes. Remember those, those little boxes that you collected money for to donate to to impoverished children all yes. across the world. Well, one year, my local Gurdwara, my temple, had this bright idea of creating their own find a box to raise money for their building fund. And uh, yeah, that didn't really go over too well. Trick or treat. Oh, hi there, little bugger. Here you go. <laughs> um, Mr. I was always so wondering if you wanted to donate money to our temple building fund. Oh, no. <laughs> Because that way we can have more space, then we can bring people in and then we can teach them about our religion. Yeah, people like, to convert people? What's going on here? And then even like all of our dads, then they can have a place to do meetings because what are you guys trying to plan? Sometimes they go to each other's basements to do meetings. Oh, basements? Trying to hide or something? Here? What's going on? Then on the weekends, we can have money to bring the kids in and we can have camps. Oh God. And then we can teach them like martial arts and stuff. Oh my god, you're making a terrorist training camp. <laughs> oh my god, honey, honey, you're making a terrorist training camp! Honey. What's the tenderness? You know, after hours and hours of knocking houses, collecting candy, getting excited about the amount of loot we have, it was time to go home. But I knew not to get too excited. Because remember the thing that I was talking about earlier before about how our parents didn't buy enough candy to sustain us for the whole night? Well, here's why. Candy are you? Candy are you? A brown candy. No, what do you do? This is my candy. Me diga some. Pyo tera ek dabba la gaya, ek dabba. Unhu main kya si bachche hone? Aa kaniya de re, oh baar bachche hone hai. Unhu nahi khana pina kuch hai. Tere hone main kya kya hai? Pata kya hai? 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 Reduce, reuse, recycle at its finest once again. Anyways, that was my experience of Halloween throughout the years. 
Um, if you guys have any of your own funny stories, leave it in the comments below. I would love to read them. And uh, maybe I'll reply back to the funny ones. If they're funny enough. If they're not, then just whatever. Get out of my face. Okay, I'm out. Bye. Ooh, I was ghost rain the whole video. Ghost rain is back because it's Halloween. And I thought it would be an appropriate time to fit him in. <laughs> Alright, but seriously. Bye. Oh, he's funny, man. Yes, he is. Ah, oh, it's was that a lot of your experiences? I, but it's actually similar to a lower middle class. Yeah. Any person in America household. Yep. Um, especially if they had multiple children. Yep. Um, oh, yeah. Because I mean, and I, I go ahead. You I know, grew up. Right? In, you know that experience. I grew up in a family with four boys. Yep. And so obviously, even if, you know, my parent, my uh, dad, stepdad was a, um, a paralegal at the time. And I think my mom also looked at a, uh, worked at a law office. Um, and so if they didn't have kids, they probably would have done pretty well. Right. But they had four children to look at. And so they weren't about to buy four hundred dollar costumes. No. Uh, so I, I think multiple, like one year, my mom made me Woody from Toy Story. She got regular jeans and then she got a, a, a yellow... A sweater and drew the, the the red stripes on it. <laughs> I I I can remember three Halloweens where I got the costume I wanted only because I promised <clears throat> I would be that character for another Halloween. Because the line was spend that much and you're gonna wear it once. And my rationale was multiple things. I said, well, I'll be it again next year, and there's other things I might do with that just for fun being the performer that I am. So it was Darth, a Darth Vader mask, a Yoda mask, and an E.T. mask. I was able to get those solely on the argument of, I'll be that for multiple years. And I was, I was those characters for more than one Halloween. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> and don't eat apples if they're given to you at Halloween. Don't eat anything if anything's handed to you this year. Yeah, <laughs> anything un... I wouldn't even go so far. I was paranoid. I don't even know if how they're going to do Halloween this year. Yeah, they've actually said they like they can't do it because of the COVID crap. Well, they they were actually LA originally canceled it, and then I think they either got sued or a bunch of parents got mad. They reversed it, uh, but I still don't know how they're actually going to do it because it's very yeah, unsafe it's to go to each person's house well, and be like, "Here, hand me something." No, what you can do because some people have done this anyway is they do it on a they trust and they leave the candy out. Yeah, that's with a little thing that says, "Please take one." But then also, because. Also, this is a thing I don't know if y'all know about. Whenever, at least it used to be, whenever you kids brought candy home, the parents would have to check the candy to make sure there wasn't drugs or razor blades or something. That razor the, blades. Something that the news told them was in it. That, and that happens. That's why you don't do the apples. Sickos put razor blades in apples and in candies. I actually remember. So I'm, guess, I would, I'm, I would, I'm guessing this year they're going to sanitize all the yeah, candy. Yeah, I, I would open bite-sized Snickers. Mm -hmm. And if it had a hole on the side, because sometimes they do where they put the caramel in, yeah. I wouldn't eat it because I was afraid it was injected with something. So I love things like sweet tarts. Mm. Uh, you can't mess with those too too bad. And if any wrapper was semi-opened, forget it. Yeah, you, you have to throw those away. Yeah, no, no good. And yeah, parents would your parents would check it, make sure. Yep. So funny. Um, but yes, Halloween's it's it's a big holiday here. Huge we, holiday. We, we enjoy. It's, most people massive. enjoy holiday. I love holiday, holiday, especially with kids. Yep. Because uh, you get to see all these kids dressed up in a little costume. It's going to be very different this year. It's Halloween is the one time of year where everybody gets to be an actor or an actress. They get to just dress up and be somebody. Well, let us know more uh, funny videos like this. Uh, and uh, let us know the first Halloween movie we should watch down below. Da <laughs> <laughs>